Hello and welcome back to the Coach's Legacy channel. In this video, we're going to talk about some optimal settings and configurations that you can use in order to avoid getting banned on the internet while scraping. Getting banned is actually a lot more common than you think. There's some very obvious signs in your Scrapey bot when it's making a connection to a, web a website that it's actually a bot and not a human being. In fact, what if I told you that Scrapey even tells the website that it's a bot? and you're under the assumption that it's not going to get banned, yeah, that's not going to happen. Because this may be okay when you're scraping something like Wikipedia you know, or something like a website that was designed to be scraped, like the ones we've been doing so far in our tutorial series. But the minute you try scraping some kind of hotshot website like Amazon, who, you know, have these entire security systems set in place, you're going to get banned real quick. All right, so let me teach you in today's tutorial how to avoid being banned. And most of this actually revolves around being polite, being polite with your scrapey spider, because you don't want to go around drowning servers with your requests and, you know, just spamming them. You want to be polite, you want to be respectful, and this is actually a whole thing, you know, being polite while web scraping. There are two reasons why a website might want to ban your spider. One, because of all the requests that it's going to make. And it's going to, you know, especially if the server is small, then it could, you know, cause issues for other real users who are using it at the same time. All right. You know, server overload. The second reason is that the content is sensitive and maybe they don't want you to scrape it. Uh, that's something we can't really do much about. And that's something that's up to you. Uh, what you scrape. Okay, you, you need to be smart and safe about that. All right. Uh, but we can at least be polite with our scraping so that even when we're scraping non sensitive content, we can scrape it in a good way that no one has an issue with. All right. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you can do is uh, these are these are seven techniques that I've highlighted that we can use in order to make our scrapey spider safe. The first one is download delay. All right, download delay is a setting that's used to put some delay between the requests that we make. By default, this setting is zero, which means that requests are made immediately one after the other. Now, obviously this behavior is really suspicious because nobody, no normal human makes requests that quickly. All right, so what download delay is equal to three does is puts in a three second delay. And you can put this setting anywhere, like for example, in your uh, settings.py file as a global setting, or you can put it in here in your spider as a local setting that affects only the spider. The global settings affect, uh, you know, the whole, all spiders, whereas this only affects this spider. And, oh, right. Okay. So yeah, this is uh, how you can implement a custom setting. This is how you implement a global setting. Uh, we, you can use, use whichever, depending on what you want. All right, so let's just do them in here, custom settings. So this is the first one that we can do. And the second thing that we can do is randomize the download delay. This adds a more humanish element into our code. Uh, this is actually enabled by default, so you don't need to enable it or anything. But if you disable this for some reason, then you might want to consider turning it back on. By default, Scrapey multiplies the download delay that you set by 0 0.5 to 1.5, a random number between this range. So it doesn't keep a fixed interval if the setting is on. And that adds, I think, a, a degree of human randomness. So that's a better sign and it's a more natural kind of flow for a spider. So I think you should keep this on as well. Secondly, uh, this is also very important, cookies. Whenever you keep the cookies on, it can sometimes reveal information about your scrapey bot. It's better to keep them off and that way the website will, you know, it won't know anything about your bot. And this helps mask the presence of it. And this is a recommended setting, by the way, by the scrapey team in their doc documentation. So it's best to follow it, all right? Next is the auto throttle, oh, by the way, and you can just keep pasting these in here in the custom settings or in the global settings. All right. Just rem remember to keep the formatting correct. All right. 
and over here is auto throttle. Auto throttle is a way to uh, it's a setting that Scrapey automatically handles for us. If we enable this, then what Scrapey does is keeps an eye. It basically measures the response time of the website as you make requests. And then it can kind of tell, judging by the response time, whether the website is currently overloaded, whether it's, you know, free. If it's free, it's going to be sending requests back pretty quickly, relatively. And if it's busy, with a lot of people, it's near its peak, then it's going to be a lot slower. So Scrapey can detect this kind of thing uh, and then it increases the download delay that you set over here. It increases or decreases it. It can also decrease it uh, based on the traffic, okay, based on how busy the server is, the target server. So again, a pretty useful setting to have. Now, next is, uh, this is auto throttle target concurrency. Um, which is how many concurrent requests get set out. If you want to lower this value, you can. That will make it uh, more humanish, kind of. Uh, the default value for this is actually one, but a low value also means it's, it's going to go slower. But if you're having issues with being banned or you want to be really careful, you can consider loaded, lowering the setting. But if you think you don't need to be so careful, like the website you're scraping, is maybe not so strict, then you can you can go ahead and increase this value, and this will send out more requests concurrently uh, to you know speed up the throughput, to speed up the efficiency, the speed of your scrapey operation. Okay. Now I think eight is a decent setting. So next is concurrent requests, which is basically the same thing as this. It's how many requests get set out concurrently. Okay, but, but the only difference between this and this is that this is uh, for auto throttle, this is for concurrent requests. Auto throttle will honor uh, the setting though. So if, if it conflicts with the setting, you know, then it'll give priority to the setting, if I remember correctly, something along those lines. So a default value, I think, is 16 for this. Let me just double check over here. It's written down here somewhere. Yeah, see, the default value is 16 and uh, you can increase this or decrease this. But the issue is that the more you increase it, the more uh, red flags it's going to raise for your spider. So you should consider a lowish value, the default or the lowish or lowish value like eight. All right. Next up is the robots txt underscore obey. Now, I, I couldn't really find out whether this is actually going to help us keep our spider undetected or not. There wasn't really anything in the documentation. But basically what this setting does is tells your spider to obey the robots.txt file in the website. The robots.txt file is basically a file that tells um, anyone visiting that website which pages they're allowed to visit, visit and which ones they're not allowed to visit. So, you know, this is just a way of being polite and respecting the rules of that website. It's not illegal or anything, just to be clear, to ignore their robots.txt file. Uh, but again, it's just about being respectful and uh, being polite so that they don't have an issue with you scraping them either. Okay. And that's what all this is about as well. Not drowning them in traffic and keeping a good delay. All right. So the last two are a bit more complicated. I have separate videos on these that explain them in great detail. Well, not great detail, but in relatively great detail. Uh, but I'll just mention them briefly right now and how to set them up. So to, okay, first of all, first of all, what is this? Rotating proxies is when you constantly have your IP swapped around as you make requests. Like if you make a thousand requests, from one IP, it's going to look suspicious. But if you have a pool of 100 IPs and you make 10 requests from each IP, then that's going to look a lot more natural. So that's what the concept of rotating, rotating proxies is. The only difficulty is that you need a list of proxies. Okay. Uh, and that's where the difficulty comes in. All right. Let me show you how I have it set up right now. I downloaded this library, pip install scrapey uh, rotating proxies. All right. 
and then I set up its middleware over here these two okay this is the middleware for it and then you need to provide a file a file with all the proxies okay this is a list of free proxies acquired they're pretty terrible because they're free and half of them are like down whenever you try and access them so I don't recommend it uh, if you want to use rot rotating proxies find a good paid service if you ask me and then use that okay find a list of paid proxies or use some other equivalent service there are many of them available out there okay then there's uh, replacing and or rotating user agents now this is actually extremely important because your scrapey bot i mentioned this in the start of the video but your scrapey bot literally tells you know it tells uh scrapey sorry it tells the website that i am a scrapey bot you don't want this to happen because this is the i think the easiest way for you to get banned you need to mask your presence basically you need to identify yourself as something else like a mozilla browser or a chrome browser from a windows operating system something like that let me show you show you this real quick uh, let me just disable my user agent code the middleware that generates random middleware and just run run this scrapey crawl command and it looks like the proxies are on too uh, let me just disable that. They're a, a real pain, trust me. They're really slow because they're free. Okay, so this is going to finish execution and it's going to print out the headers because I have this print statement over here. It prints out the request headers, which will tell us the user agent. Okay, here we go. Uh, this code of mine is, is visiting every page of this website and it prints out the user agent for each page okay and here we can see the user agent it's scrapey okay so it's literally telling the website that it's visiting that i am a scrapey bot now to rectify this you can either manually set a user agent like this user agent and then you uh, find yourself a user agent online like this one right here which is for google google has its own scraping bot that visits websites and scrapes it this is their user agent that you can use all right or you can use any other user agent really there's a whole list of them available online just pick any one of them and you know put them in here so that you know will at least solve that problem but you can also go ahead and download this library pip install scrapey fake user agents and what this library does i already have it so it's just going to say requirement whoops is the spelling wrong okay yeah it's fake user agent all right so come over here and then enable these middleware all right and i'm going to include this all this code if you want it i'll have a link to my website in the description below so you, you can go and get it from there all right so yeah just enable these uh, this disables the default behavior and this enables the new random behavior by the scrapey fake ag fake user agent library all right and then whenever we crawl a website wait wrong one whenever we cr crawl a website it's going to generate a random user agent for us you'll see right now as it begins crawling each page it's going to generate a new user agent for each page and look right here mozilla apple webkit edge safari and over here is uh, mozilla windows uh, apple webkit chrome these are all diff these are all different like there's linux over here and i don't know what that is and there's an ipad over here so you can see right here that this is basically all the art of masking your presence online now i do advise you uh, i feel like it's compulsory for me to say this but don't do anything stupid uh, you know like be respectful and scrape only the data that you are allowed to scrape basically that's publicly available and uh, yeah pretty much use this knowledge wisely and good luck with scraping